The intensifying war in Ukraine has led to a surprising surge in the demand for an unusual drug that is rarely used elsewhere, potassium iodide. The fear of radioactive fallout from attacks on Ukraine's nuclear power plant is a trigger behind this surge. If such an attack takes place, it will release radioactive iodine in the atmosphere, which can be absorbed by our lungs or the thyroid gland. Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. I'm Dr. Umar Malik. In this video, we are going to talk about what is potassium iodide and can it be used to protect against radiation from a nuclear explosion and who really needs to take potassium iodide after a nuclear release. We will talk about what potassium iodide products are currently available in the market and then we will discuss about the side effects of potassium iodide. According to the Center for Disease Control, potassium iodide represented as Ki is a salt of stable iodine with potassium that can help to block the radioactive iodine from being absorbed by the thyroid gland, thus protecting this gland from radiation injury. Such an injury can harm the thyroid gland which produces many hormones that regulate the body and can even lead to cancer. The CDC further said that table salt and foods rich in iodine do not contain enough iodine to block radioactive iodine from getting into your thyroid gland. It has advice against using table salt or foods as a substitute for potassium iodide. The thyroid gland cannot tell the difference between stable and radioactive iodine. It will absorb both. Potassium iodide will block radioactive iodine from entering the thyroid. When a person takes potassium iodide, the stable iodine in the medicine gets absorbed by the thyroid. Because potassium iodide contains so much stable iodine, the thyroid gland becomes saturated and cannot absorb any more iodine for the next 24 hours. Thus, the thyroid gland stops further intake of iodine inside it. So, in case there is radioactive iodine present in the atmosphere due to a nuclear explosion, the thyroid gland will not absorb it because it is already saturated. The FDA guidance prioritizes groups based on age which is the primary factor for determining risk of radioiodine-induced thyroid cancer. Those at highest risk are infants and children, as well as pregnant and nursing females, because of the potential for sodium iodide to suppress thyroid function in the developing fetus and the newborn. The recommendation is to treat them at the lowest threshold of the drug. Anyone over 18 years old and up to 40 years old should be treated at the slightly higher threshold of the dosage. Finally, anyone over 40 years old should be treated with potassium iodide only if the predicted exposure to the nuclear fallout is really high. Only potassium iodide products that are FDA approved may be marketed legally in the United States. As of October 2016, the following potassium iodide drugs are FDA approved and are available without a prescription. Iostat tablets, Thyrosafe tablets containing 65 mg stable potassium iodide, Thyroshield oral solution containing 65 mg per milliliter potassium iodide from Arco Pharmaceuticals, and potassium iodide oral solution containing 65 mg per milliliter from Mission Pharmaceutical Company. Side effects are unlikely when potassium iodide is used at the recommended dose and for a short time. The following are the possible side effects of potassium iodide. You can get skin rashes and rarely swelling of the salivary glands. You can experience metallic taste in the mouth, burning and sore throat, sore teeth and gums symptoms of a cold and sometimes upset stomach and diarrhea. These symptoms are commonly together known as iodism. An allergic reaction can have more serious symptoms. Those include fever and joint pains, swelling of parts of body including face, lips, tongue, 
throat, hands or feet. You can experience trouble breathing, speaking or swallowing, wheezing or shortness of breath. All these are very rare and always remember that severe shortness of breath requires immediate medical attention. So this was a short video explaining the effects and side effects of potassium iodide. I hope you like the content. Make sure to press the like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much guys and see you in the next video.